Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be hanging out in Douglasville, Georgia. I'm gonna give you the stats, I'm gonna give you the pros and cons, and we're gonna jump in the car and do a real estate tour, showing you what you can get for 250,000, 350,000, 450,000, 550,000, and finally topping it off at 650,000. So definitely sit back, relax, and let's get into the video. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I am walking around this downtown area here in Douglasville. Um, to me, it is one of the strangest downtowns I've ever seen, in my opinion, as far as the situation. Uh, it's literally like one road and then another road parallel. Um, and they're trying, they tuck these buildings in between the two roads. But I will give you a little walking tour of the area. But today is uh, March 1st, uh, 2.15 p.m and there's not one single soul <laughs> walking around this area uh so so douglasville just in general is very quiet it is a very um so it's, it's a sleepy town um i will say now we're gonna go to some other portions of douglasville uh throughout today's uh, video so you'll get to see a little bit more vibrance than what we see here uh, but for the sake of uh, doing our pros and cons uh, it is quiet so I can actually hear myself think uh, and talk so let's just jump into some statistics about Douglasville Georgia uh, so Douglasville is located 23.4 miles west of downtown Atlanta uh, it is honestly one of the most popular cities west of Atlanta so when you're thinking about west of Atlanta you think about Austell and then you think about Douglasville uh, so it is very and you probably think about Douglasville before Austell but the only reason you would think about Austell is probably for Six Flags over Georgia so Douglasville is located uh, a few miles from Six Flags over Georgia uh, so it, it makes for a great place to live when you have family coming into town because normally that's like the number one place you can take your family and still be within close proximity of home uh, so Douglasville again situated west of Atlanta 23 uh, miles uh, from Atlanta. Now let's look at some of the statistics about the uh, diversity. So the demographics as far as the population, in my opinion, it is very diverse uh, amongst uh, white and black Americans. So the population is 63% uh, African Americans uh, and 31.2% uh, white Americans. Uh, and so, you know, it, it is truly a diversity in that respect. Uh, and 5.76% of other races and two or more races, okay? Um, so you can say it's a black and white city uh, as it relates to just the way the numbers fall down. So let me find another part of Douglasville to show you real quick and uh, we'll do um, some more data points. I just want you to be able to see kind of the downtown area while we're down here. All right, so we're right here by the Douglasville Welcome Center now. So this city does have a welcome center, much like McDonough, Georgia, that we saw a few weeks uh, last week. Uh, Douglasville do have a welcome center, so you'll be greeted to learn a lot about the city and get your souvenir shops and all that stuff. So let's walk down here um, a little bit and show you the road. All right, so right now I'm standing at the uh, intersection of West Broad Street, which is the street right behind me, and McCarley Street. So if you're looking at it on Google Maps, you can kind of see where I'm standing. Uh, but so the average household income in uh, Douglasville is $71,000. So the ownership versus rent ratio is as follows. Um, I'm gonna move a little bit over from the road. <laughs> I was complaining about not seeing people, but now the road noise is just entirely too loud. Um, so 43.4% of the residents own their property and 56.6% of residents actually rent their property. So there are more renters in Douglasville than there are owners for um, the residents is concerned, as far as, as far as real estate is concerned. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. Okay, so we're gonna walk a little bit further away from the road because I know this is this, uh, I don't want the video to sound like crap. So um, let me give you the rest of the data points and then I'll show you down West Broad Street uh, and you can kind of take a look around at some of the street shops uh, or the street side boutiques right off of West Broad. 
and the medium home listing price in Douglasville is three hundred and twelve thousand, which is severely below, which is a good thing, which is below the Atlanta metropolitan average uh, as far as the metropolitan area. So definitely a very affordable place to live. Uh, the public school ranks uh, as follows. Um, Douglas County is a school district that Douglasville is a part of. So if you want really, you know, to dial in and research uh, the schools here in Douglasville, you will have to search it as Douglas County Public Schools. So the Douglas County Public Schools ranks as follows. Uh, it is uh, it ranks 11th uh, in most diverse schools uh, districts in the state of Georgia. It ranks 19th in the Atlanta Metropolitan uh, School Districts as best in the area. It, uh, 19th and it ranks 17th for the best school districts for athletes in the Atlanta metropolitan area um, so it ranks in the top 20 in several different categories um, you know you can do with that what you will um, as it relates to evaluating the schools um, Douglasville is also the county seat uh, for Douglas County. Douglasville, the city, is the county seat or headquarters for Douglas County. So all of the government buildings and courthouse for Douglas County will reside in the city of Douglasville. So it makes it a little bit convenient if you're having to do county business right here in Douglasville, if you already live in Douglasville. So just kind of keep that in mind. One of the things that make Douglasville, Georgia, unique is the rolling hills. Um, Douglasville has an interesting topography. There's a lot of low plains. There's a lot of high plains in Douglasville. So it's a very interesting um, topography. So if you're into that type of stuff, then you're definitely going to uh, enjoy the rolling hills here in Douglasville. So the interstate for Douglasville, Georgia is going to be Interstate 20. Douglasville, Georgia literally sits right off the interstate. So there is, you know, it's very convenient, very accessible to the interstate to get you moving about the uh, metropolitan area connecting you with other places here in the region. So very conveniently located right off of Interstate 20. All right, so let's get into the pros and cons of living in Douglasville. We're gonna walk and talk this one out. Uh, so the very first pro is the diversity. Uh, diversity, you will see it in several different areas as far as the community, you'll see it in the schools, you will also see it in the city's government. Uh, Douglasville, Georgia actually just elected its first black mayor uh, a few years ago. Um, and so, you know, diversity is showing its head in several places here in Douglasville, Georgia, which is to me a great thing uh, for this area. The second pro is going to be uh, small but known. So Douglasville, Georgia is very small, but as I said at the beginning in the opening of my uh, video is that Douglasville is actually very known. Um, it's one of those areas that for some reason people have heard of it, uh, know someone from it, or has remembered uh, remembered passing through it, right? So, so it is arguably probably one of the best known suburbs west of downtown Atlanta. So with that being said, um, the popularity actually provides for more vibrant and prosperous commercial districts. And we're going to go take a look at one of them here in a second. Um, you know, because again, you know, people want to invest where there is growth and there is prosperity and Douglasville does have a lot of growth going on and it is a very very prosperous area all right so pro number three is the fact that Douglasville Georgia is probably one of the most affordable suburbs in the Atlanta metropolitan area uh, as I said before the uh, average uh, the medium listing price is actually only uh, $312,000 which is considerably less than the uh, metropolitan average of like 370 so you do get a lot of bang for your buck living here in Douglasville. Uh, so let me turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you kind of West Broad Street, which is uh, their downtown area. Uh, I personally think it's a very interesting concept because it's not like a traditional square. Uh, it's literally similar to Fairburn. It's just one road, you know, it's all you get. But anyway, I'm gonna turn the camera around and then we're gonna head over to another district uh, and then we're gonna do our real estate tour and we're gonna put a wrap on this video. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere, let's do it. Two separate time zones, either way we going all night. Uh, up late, smiling at your eye. That I said, got you left your ass off. You still buzzing off last call. 
coming to you. Swoop you at ten, have you back home in June? Shotgun the coupe, destination no more. Yeah, yeah. See you smile everywhere I go. You're the only one I wanna hold. If you're down a ride, then I'm down a road. Ride around and kick it like a rodeo. Yeah, yeah. We can make the news or we can let go. Ain't no need to do a single thing just cause they say so. What the hell do they know? Bending all the rules, gonna put you in a rainbow. Yo, and me is perfect timing. Looking like an angel in this lighting. Baby, you a star the way you shining. Looking like the type to make my wife. Two separate time songs. Either way, we going all night long. Up late, smiling at your iPhone. I know. The memes that I sent got you laughing your ass off. You still buzzing off last call. Gassing you up like fast car. Check one. Room to you. I'm a cost. You said I'm the only one you text first. Got you buzzing in the mood, sending something in the new, that's your best work. Left with the feels, right or wrong, you know I keep it black and white with you like ref shirt. Why are we typing? I'd rather FaceTime. You know I like it, but I don't want to waste time. Answer with your waistlines, taking up the whole can, whoa, damn. Caught staring my attention, yeah, you own that. Talk to me, love that sound. You know the lock screen, the only time I'll keep you in the background. Ticket, I put the cash down. Lay away, exhausted, but we stay up talking till we falling asleep. Yeah, would you mind if I walk through your dream? Two separate time songs. Either way, we going all night long. Up late, smiling at your iPhone. I know the memes that I sent got you laughing your ass. Guys, so that's pretty much the downtown area. We're gonna go ahead and get back up into the parking garage and uh, hop in a car. And I'm gonna show you the other side of Douglasville. This is the downtown district. This is the oldest part of Douglasville that you're gonna see. I mean, that exists. <laughs> so uh, it would not be fair if I did not show you the um, 
newer parts of Douglasville or the commercial districts, if you will, because if you're looking at this video, you're probably thinking like, man, that place is, ugh. Uh, but it is a older, older town um, for sure. So let's jump in the car and let's go and take a look at uh, some of the other areas, the newer parts of uh, Douglasville. Let's do it. Welcome to the largest shopping area here in Douglasville. This is gonna be right outside of Arbor Place Mall, which is um, in this, like literally right in front of me in that direction. Uh, but this is one of the ancillary uh, shopping areas outside of the mall area. Um, so this is a Chapel Hill, uh, and this area is gonna be a part of the newer section of Douglasville. I mean, it's not new, it's been around for 20 plus years, but it's, it's definitely one of the newer areas of Douglasville. Um, outside of the downtown district so let's talk about some of the uh, cons of living in douglasville right now while we walk through this little area and then we're going to jump off our real estate section uh here in douglasville so the first con is portions of douglasville georgia are in flood plains um, that is a big con because you can fall in love with an area or a home and find out that that home is in a flood zone um, and it will require you to have flood insurance and things of that nature also, Douglasville made history back in 2009 for the largest flood in the state of Georgia. Uh, over 18 inches of rain overnight. That flood actually impacted more than just Douglasville, Georgia. It actually impacted a few other cities in Douglas County. Uh, it also claimed eight lives as well. So um, I always tell people that are looking for Douglas or looking in Douglasville, Georgia for real estate, just to be mindful, be uh, triple proactive as it relates to checking and make sure that the property that you're looking for is not in a flood plain or a flood zone area. Okay. Car number two is just going to be limited public transportation. Obviously, living in Douglas County and Douglasville, you do need to have a car. Um, and so that's going to be very important. Um, I'm going to roll a clip here in a second showing you the alternative for public transportation here in Douglas County, which is going to be the park and ride, which is pretty similar to other uh, suburban counties outside of uh, the city limits of Atlanta or outside of the MARTA district. Um, and so I'll roll that clip now. All right, guys, so I wanted to just show you this area here because I'm always citing it. I'm always saying, hey, it exists. So I just want to show it to you. But this area where I'm going to show you is this is the uh, park and ride. Uh, which is right behind me. This is where the buses will park and you jump on the buses and you commute into uh, Atlanta. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Uh, so this is the Douglas County Terminal. Um, and essentially, I'm gonna turn the camera around now. This is what the terminal looks like here. Uh, so basically, all of those cars on in front of here are commuters. Um, and they park their cars over there and they jump on the bus. Um, this is the express uh, commuting made easy is what they're citing here, uh, three one. So whatever you hear me cite on future videos and I'll probably use this, I may just make a quick little uh, <laughs> a memorable video. Uh, but this is what it looks like. Uh, this is what we consider a park and ride here in Georgia. Um, and so, yeah. That's all. Let's continue our journey. 
so yeah that was the georgia express parking ride for douglas county um so you do have a little bit of a buffer to get you into um the city of atlanta and connect you with uh marta as well so that's the only alternative and with the douglas county um or connect douglas which is basically douglas county transportation uh, where it's acts as a shuttle service. They do have some routes uh, here in Douglas County uh, that is at a scheduled time that that shuttle will pass through that route. So it's a little bit of, um, of a system or I guess trying to bridge the gap of not really having a bus route system here in Douglas County. But again, you don't move to Douglas County if you want to be in public transportation. It's just not possible. Not realistic. Don't do it you're not going to have a good experience. All right, and con number three is going to be just commuting into Atlanta. Commuting into Atlanta from Douglasville can be a challenge, particularly on the weekends. During the day, it will also bottleneck going into 20 East um, as well because there's a lot of traffic coming in from Alabama uh, and, and going right into downtown Atlanta. Um, you do connect, though, from Interstate 20. You can pick up 285 and do a bypass around, uh, but or you can continue on and jump on Interstate 75 straight from Interstate 20 from Douglasville, Georgia. Also, stay tuned for more content on Douglasville, Georgia, because I'm going to do some stuff on the computer, uh, kind of exploring Douglasville. So definitely subscribe to the channel so you can see kind of where the shopping areas are, where the residential areas are, uh, and all that stuff. Stuff. So being in, inside of the computer or actually being on the computer gives me more opportunity to show you more things versus like actually here on the ground. But per personally, for me, I like doing it on the ground so you can see things. Um, and uh, so I'm going to flip the camera around, show you this little small retail area here. Uh, there are probably two or three of these type concepts uh, around the city of Douglasville uh, in addition to the large mall. Uh, that is called Arbor Place Mall. So you can do some research on Arbor Place Mall and um, find out which stores are in that mall and all that good stuff. So let me do that. And then our next stop is going to be at our first property uh, here in Douglasville showing you around some of the different real estate price points. So let's get into it. All right. So this is uh, one of the uh, shopping areas that I'm in right now. Uh, they do have some smaller brand names in this particular plaza. Uh, there is one right across the street that has your Target and all of that stuff. So like I said, subscribe to the channel to see it actually on the computer. We can actually go in depth on the computer versus having to like show you every particular plaza in person. All right, let's get into the real estate tour right now. Okay, so we are approaching our $250,000 price point here uh, for Douglasville. So as I walk towards the list, and I'm just want to I just want to show you kind of the the neighborhood here. So this is kind of the vibe you can expect for uh, the $250,000 price point. Um, this property uh, just listed actually about two days ago. Looks like they're actually doing some work on it as we speak here. So I won't get too close up to the property because I don't want to uh, disturb anybody in that regard but I um, just wanted to kind of give you a little peek at it all right so this is the house here um, and it's listed for 249,000 and it is set 1400 1479 square feet two bedrooms two baths it say um, that's kind of interesting but this is kind of what you can expect to get for the price point of 250 okay um and i'll put the pictures on the screen just to kind of show you what the interior looks like looks like they're actually doing some renovations on it as we speak right now so uh so yeah but uh nice quiet little neighborhood here just showing you around as i walk up to the car um Definitely subscribe to the channel to see more about Douglasville. I'm going to be doing some stuff on the computer, as I said before, um, giving you a better look at Douglasville. So let's go ahead and move on over to our next price point and uh, check it out. All right, guys. So this property here that you're looking at, this is your $350,000 price point for Douglasville. 
Uh, it's actually a very unique, um, I guess, opportunity. Uh, it's actually listed at 354 900 uh, and it does have 2,152 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, uh, bringing a square cost per square foot to one hundred and sixty five dollars. Uh, it is sitting on a full basement um, and it has been renovated, completely renovated uh, on the interior as well as some exterior painting. Uh, this this area here looks like it's brand new, um, kind of like a turnaround point because it is on the main road. This road here is Chapel Hill Road, uh, which is not far from that commercial district where Arbor Place Mall is uh, and things of that nature. So probably about a five to a 10 minute drive to Arbor Place Mall from this location. Uh, so definitely gonna be, um, uh, you know, kind of what you can expect in the 350 price point. I will just say though, uh, this is a unique opportunity because it has been completely renovated. So some of your homes will not have that uh, complete renovated look. Um, you know, but for this price point of 354 nine, uh, this is a great opportunity. It has been on the market for 26 days as of today. Uh, listed it on Jan uh, the property listed on January 30th. So if you are interested in you know, kind of, you know, looking at it more, let me know. But um, I, I have showed the pictures on the screen at some point already. Uh, but definitely, you can see the interior has been redone and everything looks great. Uh, so. Your front yard, though, is, you know, this is a Chapel Hill Road section. Uh, so there are homes that are on Chapel Hill Road that are on the main road. This is a, a pretty main road. Um, so just got to keep that in mind if you're interested in this particular house. So let's go ahead and uh, go over to our next price point. All right, guys. So we are at the uh, $450,000 price point for Douglasville, Georgia. So this is the neighborhood styles that you can expect in that price point. You get a lot more acreage, you get bigger footprint homes, bigger square foot homes. Uh, so this particular house here, 78 uh, LaSalle Lane, is available for sale and it's listed at $441,000. Um, it's gonna be a four bedroom, three and a half bath, uh, 3,948 square feet and I'll throw the cost per square foot on the screen because I did not work those numbers uh, but is it, essentially this is what you can get in that $450,000 price point uh, really nice quiet neighborhood um, in the uh, La uh, South Paulding High School School District um, so yeah this is this is your 450 price point okay so let's head over to the next one and uh, take a look around at that price point all right ladies and gentlemen we are out at our last property of the day and it's gonna be this home here I kind of have the camera zoomed all the way in uh, this property sits on uh, six acres of land and uh, it is listed at five hundred and seventy nine thousand uh, dollars uh, so it's gonna serve as our 650 our 550 to 650 price point today for today's video but I wanted to show you this because this is a custom build uh, on six acres of land uh, for 650 so this is kind of starting to get you know up in that price point to where you want that custom feel and uh, uh, exclusivity uh, you can definitely get it so this particular property is a uh, three bedroom, two baths. It's showing in the public records, but uh, it may be bigger. Um, I don't know, but that's what the public record shows. Three bedroom, two baths, uh, 2,045 square feet is what it's showing in public records. But most of what you're paying for this particular listing is going to be in acreage, 6.9 acres of land here in uh, Douglas County. Here in Douglasville, Georgia. So, hopefully, you enjoyed the real estate tour today. Uh, I'm taking a look at these homes and um, kind of getting some idea of price points. Obviously, depending on when you decide to make your transition uh, to Douglasville, it may vary as far as what's on the market at that time. So, just to show you a quick round of this property, I mean, literally, there's nothing but trees on this side. There is a house across the street with a privacy fence blocking the view, and it does dead end. Uh, this road is similar to like almost like a like a county or a country street, if you will. Uh, you don't have your paves, it's very small. 
uh, it looks like a uh, very rural setting here at this particular property. So, all right guys, so thank you for rocking with me on today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, definitely as always, like, share, comment, subscribe. My contact information is in the description below. So definitely feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about any of the particular homes that you saw on the real estate tour today or about transitioning and making your move here to Atlanta. So thank you for watching. Drop a comment below, it really does help. Um, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more updates regarding Douglasville and other cities around the metropolitan area. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.